Okay. Hi guys, it's Lene. Um, I decided to do a tutorial today um, or this evening. I think I'm going to do two because I want to try something dramatic. I'm not sure, but um, the first tutorial is going to be a yellow and brown tutorial. Um, I have a little sundress that I wore today and um, I did a little yellow and brown quick look this morning. It took me like maybe 20 minutes to do it. I'm quite sure it's going to take me longer than 20 minutes since I'm trying to do it. The scars to my face is I washed off all my makeup that I had on this morning. I redid my eyebrows. I re-put on my foundation. And I have placed tape as my guide um, for the outsides. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the tutorial. Um, I am using Nikki, or I, I think that's how you say it. Nika K. N-I-C-K-A-K -K. Um, a uh, duo eyeshadow it's called duo diamond eyeshadow and it's called fame and it's a yellow color and a brown color so um, I'm gonna start off by priming my eyes and I am going to use the Rimmel Fix Perfect because this is a tutorial so I'm gonna be putting that on there I hope that this doesn't change the color because this morning I used Smashbox. So I'm just applying that all over mm. all over both of my eyes. All the way up to the top to the brow bone. Um I am going to take my red one all over shadow brush and I am going to go into the yellow side of the duo and I am just going to place that all over my lid Going back into the yellow. And I'm, the brush is too big to get into my inner um, tear duct area. So I'm going to take another brush to actually get into there um, towards the end. And this is the only color. These are the only two colors I'm going to use. I'm actually going to use this yellow color as my highlight as well. So I have that all the way up to right at the crease and if it goes over the crease a little bit um doesn't matter it was over a little bit this morning i think that that's what made it a little bit more appealing to me um i'm just wiping the brush off i don't know why i don't think i'm going to use it again um i am now taking a smashbox crease brush and this is not normally what i use to do my creases but it's new so i wanted to try it um so I'm going and to I am now going into the brown part and what I'm going to do is apply that right above the yellow and right into my crease and I'm just going right over to the um, tape. I'm stopping at the tape like a little bronzy. I guess that's what I'm looking for so it might be. Might be bronze. I don't know. And I'm just putting that into the crease. Now I'm just going to take this same brush. And I'm going to blend. Towards the top. Stopping right where are you will put your highlight at because then I'm going to put my highlight and of course I'm going to um, blend it in together and before I start blending I always just go back into whatever color I'm putting into my crease just so that it'll have more of it on the brush in case I need it okay now I'm going to take my uh, uh, elf defining eye brush and I'm going to go back into the yellow and I'm just going to brush it across. And I don't do my highlight like everybody else do there. Start right here and then take it out. I just put it on and blend it out. 
I don't think that well I mean I guess there's a right no wrong way to do it but uh oh I have to fix that in my opinion there's not a right and a wrong way to do your makeup if when you get done with your makeup it's pretty to you then you've done it the right way and I'm just going to use this brush right here to actually blend the color out yeah so in my opinion if at the end of your makeup application if it looks appealing and pretty to you and you're able to walk out of the house with it then you've done with you, what you set out to accomplish I'm just going to use this little smudge applicator thing and I'm just going to go into this yellow and put it right there into my tear duct where I couldn't reach it with that big brush and bring it down just a little bit Um, I am going to <clears throat> now go into um, a cream eyeliner and I'm going to use an angle brush and it's the angle brush that I got from that 20 piece brush set that I brought, bought from eBay um, I was able to use the brush the angle brush because it doesn't shed and I am going to line my upper lash and again guys this is how I apply the liner to my upper lash line it may not be the correct way but when I'm finished it looks good to me so um, <clears throat> I am now going to curl my lash and I'm gonna curl my lashes my Revlon luxurious color in velvet black and I'm going to line the bottom of my eye And a lot of people, when they put on their mascara, they go all the way to the end and they shimmy up. Every single time I do that, I poke myself in the eye. So, I don't do that. I just apply it. Okay. Um, I'm going to take my infamous brown liner. It's Palladio. And it's just in dark brown. I'm going to line my lips. And I am using, I'm going to do like my nude, what I consider my nude lip. So I'm using Ray, NYX Ray. And then I am using my Sally Henson 18 hour lip treatment in clear nude. Okay, so this is the finished look. Wow. This is the finished look, guys. I'm going to pull my hair down. Okay, so this is the finished look. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. And I am definitely getting ready to take pictures. And then I will be back for another This is my look, guys. This is what I did today to match my little sundress. And like I said, I think it's cute. Rate, comment, subscribe. And tell me what you think. And I will see you guys shortly.